Now foursomes is a really interesting game because foursomes, I would say, is otherwise known as the game of sorry. Because in foursomes, rather than two people playing and you play your own ball, what you actually do is you come together as a pair of people, but you only play one ball. So we take alternate shots. So we would decide beforehand, me and my playing partner, I'm going to tee off on the odd holes, so one, three, five. You're going to tee off on the even holes, two, four, six. Now you might decide there's more par threes on the, on, the, on the odd holes or longer driving holes on the even holes, whatever it might be. So I'm then going to tee off on the first hole. Now I'm a bit nervous, I feel a bit under pressure and I hit my tee shot and I hit it straight behind a bush. Now normally I'd be a bit disappointed in myself and I'd go and get that ball and try and play it from the bush. But what I've done now is I've hit my playing partner into a bush. So straight away I'm saying, sorry, didn't mean that. And then they wander off into the bush and try and hack the ball out of the bush. And they hit a lovely shot and it goes nicely back into the middle of the fairway. And I say, thanks very much for that, that's wonderful. And I walk up here and I hit another one into a bunker. What am I saying again? I'm saying, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. And they have to get it out. And you'll often find that in a game of foursomes, you say sorry more than anything else because you're always feeling bad for hitting the ball into a bad situation if you're not playing very well. Now, hopefully you're playing nicely and you're keeping the ball nice and straight down the middle. But you often find that people playing foursomes end up saying sorry more than ever. Because like I said, if you hit a bad shot, it's your fault. You've got to go and get it out of that problem. But in foursomes, quite often it's the other person that has to go and play the ball. Now, some of the issues relating to foursomes is often golfers would describe it as a very difficult game to get into because you're only hitting alternate shots. So, if I hit the first tee shot, my playing partner doesn't tee off until the second hole. Then I don't tee off again until the third hole. So I'm only ever hitting alternate tee shots. Now, if that's a driver, I'm hitting it every two holes, but uh, every, every second hole. But if there's a par three mixed in there, I might tee off on the first. The third is a par three, so I don't hit a tee shot. I'm actually only teeing off again with my driver then on the fifth. So I might only hit one drive on the first or one drive on the fifth. So I'm not really into the, green, into the swing of things. My playing partner then might chip onto the green so I don't get to practice my chipping. We might go in a bunker, but they take the bunker shot. So I'm not practicing my bunker play. So sometimes in foursomes, you really struggle to get into the game and people call it only half a game. It generally is quite a quick format because we're only playing one golf ball. And actually, as I'm hitting my tee shot, my playing partner might be walking off up the fairway to try and get ahead of things, to try and speed up the game of play. So foursomes is often a very quick format. You can play foursomes in a match play format where I'm trying to beat another pairing on a team, or we can play foursomes against the whole uh, rest of the golf course and golf club. Try and practice a little bit of foursomes with a playing partner because it does help if you know each other's games and you're familiar with each other and you can apologise to each other and you can take a little bit of a joke because sometimes playing foursomes with somebody you've never met before can get quite embarrassing and you will end up saying sorry an awful lot when you're playing foursomes.